Belisarius Prime is finally back on the commander view page in Rise of Kingdoms, but players over on the Chinese servers have already had access to him and have been using him in the open fields for the past, I would say, week or so. And one well player dumped 690 legendary commander sculptures into Belisarius Prime and was shocked to find what they actually got in return. So today we're going to talk about what exactly happened to this whale player. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. We're less than a thousand subs away from 70,000 on this channel, which is insane. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've given on recent videos. If you haven't subbed already, consider clicking the button. It's free and you can unsub later if you want. While you're down there, drop a thumbs up. It'll help out this video a ton. So let me share with you guys the story of this Chinese whale player who woke up at about 830 in the morning and they discovered that the Wheel of Fortune event was live in their server. You can see of course, that is how you get Belisarius Prime. So they went over to their Wheel of Fortune and they spun the wheel until they got 10 sculptures of him and they summoned him as a commander. From there, they decided that they're going to max Belisarius Prime with the universals that they have just saved up on their account. For example, I have 1,321 sculptures and if I don't want to spend my gems on the Wheel of Fortune, but I do want to max out a commander, I can just dump those universals into Belisarius Prime and you'll be good to go. I'm going to use Cordoba as an example here because Belisarius is not actually in the game for me, but basically what this player did is once they summoned their Belisarius Prime, they came in here and they clicked the exchange button and they added skills to the commander by clicking the plus five or plus 10 or whatever it is to get the next skill on them. Now, when you go to complete this action, if you've turned on a secondary password, it will ask you to type in that secondary password. And this player at that time did have the secondary password. So you type in whatever it is. And usually if you know that you're about to just instantly max a commander, you'll click the no additional verifications for this login button, because it's just going to slow you down typing in your password after every single skill upgrade, which means you're going to be typing in your password like 16 times and that's annoying so what the player did is they added their sculptures they typed in their password they checked this box i hit confirm and then for every skill that they added to their belisarius prime they just clicked the max button confirm max button confirm max button confirm and you just do that until you need to add more stars and you guys get the drill you've probably maxed out a commander before or you've seen somebody do it on youtube right so after they went through and they maxed all of the skills for belisarius prime they came into their commander view page and they scrolled all the way to the bottom and they noticed that their belisarius looked exactly like mine does and by that i mean the first skill was unlocked and the rest of the skills were locked and they were confused because they literally just spent 690 legendary commander sculptures and they find out that their belisarius is unusable so what happened to their sculptures well you can imagine the dread on their face when they came into their account and they saw that not only did they lose 690 legendary commander sculptures but it wasn't the game's fault it was the player's fault because they accidentally expertised leonidas instead of Belisarius Prime. Now, you might be saying, Omniarch, that is ridiculous. How is that possible? But I want you to imagine for a moment that it is 8.30 in the morning and you are barely awake. And you look at Leonidas and you look at Belisarius Prime. And then you look back at Leonidas and then you look back at Belisarius Prime. And you quickly realize that their helmets are not only the same color, but they also have the sort of red bristles on the very top. And not only that, but they're both facing the same direction. Their head is facing towards the right of the screen. Their ent entire body is facing that direction, which not all commanders do, by the way, you see like Saladin is pointing to the left, but here you can see that Leonidas and Belisarius Prime are in basically the same stance. They both have their one hand up holding a weapon. Here, this is obviously a sword and for Leonidas, it is a spear. But if you look at the color schemes, I mean, they're both wearing all gold with red accents, red cloth. They both have a red cape. They're in the same position. Their left hand is sort of on their hip. In this case, Belisarius has nothing there. In this case, Leonidas has a shield on that side. But look, I know that this is kind of a stretch. I mean, they do look quite different. I mean, they are clearly different, but I mean, they do have the same like facial hair sort of, right? They've got a very similar helmet. They've both got some gold on their chest. Obviously there's way more gold on Belisarius Prime because there is no chest piece 
on Leonidas. We've got the gold here, the gold shoulder over here, and the helmet comes down a little bit. So look, the commanders look very different if we're being completely honest. Okay. But there is actually a lot of overlap here. And if you're not paying attention, all it takes is one quick second. I mean, you're only, if you're planning on masking a commander, you're going to come into your commander view page, right? And you're going to see this and you're going to scroll down and you're going to see, okay, well you click him and you click this, and then you click this button here. And all of a sudden you no longer are looking at the commander that you're going to be expertising. Now, again, it says Leonidas here. I, I can see that this was obviously the player's fault, but it is worth noting that like these commanders to the untrained eye look kind of similar. Now, if he had accidentally expertised, I don't know, Pakal or Chandra Gupta, like sure, these commanders look completely different and that's absolutely ridiculous. But the fact that Belisarius Prime and Leonidas look sort of similar, I mean, like I, I can kind of see it. Okay. Squint your eyes a little bit and pretend that you just woke up and you might realize like, okay, these commanders don't look that different after all. And so this player's heart was broken. Now this was of course, first reported on by Ihara, which I've shouted out their channel before here on YouTube. I'm going to link to their video in the description below. Please go over there, subscribe to this YouTube channel. They have great news and reports from the Chinese versions of the game, even though I think they play on the international version anyway, but this is where this story is coming from. And if you go through Ihara's video, you'll see that this player reached out to VIP support after this incident had happened. Now, if you guys don't know, there are actually different tiers of VIP support as is explained here by Ihara, but basically you sort of have like the regular in-game support option. And then if you are a certain caliber of VIP of, of player, basically, then you get access to the Julius Caesar tier of VIP support. And then if you are, let's just be honest, a big whale in the game, you will eventually get access to the Charles Martel VIP support. I myself do not have access to the Charles Martel VIP support last time that I checked. Okay. So just to put this into perspective, you have to be a pretty big whale to get access to Charles Martel VIP support. And typically if you have access to that support, your support requests are probably prioritized. That's my best guess. I, again, I don't have access to it, so I don't want to pretend like I know what I'm talking about here, but it's safe to assume that if you are a VIP player of that caliber, your requests and messages will probably be seen and prioritized a little bit faster than the rest of us. Okay. Now this player being a whale player did have access to their version of the Charles Martel chat over on the Chinese servers. According to Ihara, the Julius Caesar tier is actually called Mulan and the Charles Martel tier is actually called Guan Yu but it's basically effectively the same thing. So this player made this mistake on their account. They accidentally expertise Leonidas. They basically reached out to VIP support and they asked if there was anything that could be done. And again, I'm just going to turn off my camera here for a second. So you can see exactly what we're looking at here. But like, you know, when you look at them side by side, it's like they are kind of similar. And just for proof that this is actually real, you can see here from the screenshots that this player has in fact expertise Leonidas and you can see like they there's still the little green arrow here which means they didn't even put the talents on this commander like they just expertise them they didn't even touch the talents yet and you can see here that their Belisarius Prime has no skills unlocked they're still level one with one star so they sent these screenshots to the highest level of VIP support and VIP support basically reached out to them and said that's crazy but unfortunately there's nothing we can do about it good luck though and also they even went as far as to tell the player that an investment in Leonidas isn't that bad because Leonidas is a good infantry commander which if you guys have been watching this channel for any amount of time you know that Leonidas has been insanely power crept in rise of kingdoms he is not a good legendary infantry commander by any standards I would say for the past two years basically nobody has used Leonidas in the open field whatsoever there is really no use for Leonidas these days at all he would need a very powerful relic and in fact if we do ever get a relic for Leonidas I would love if they gave him like 15% or 20% March speed and maybe a little bit more damage factor on the active skill. I think maybe Leonidas would have a shot at being a, a somewhat relevant pairing to Guan Yu once again. But until that happens, Leonidas is effectively 
a completely useless investment especially for an end game season of conquest well they are never going to use leonidas it's just not going to happen so for vip support to tell them like oh well you know there's nothing we can do to help you but you know leonidas he's actually a good commander it's like okay you're just kind of gaslighting him at that point it's like let's be just be, just just shoot him straight okay like just tell him how it is like hey that sucks too bad you've got an expertise leonidas at least you'll be able to use his skills in you know a kvk where you can unlock him as a bastion or something like that like that's pretty much the only thing that you could use him for at this point okay so basically this dude is completely out of luck and he actually sent a couple of messages in his alliance group chat and basically told them like you know after making this mistake i pretty much just want to quit the game right because if you're familiar with rise of kingdoms at all you know that legendary commander sculptures are pretty hard to come by especially if you're not spending them correctly so not only you know are they hard to get but then to waste 690 of them on a useless commander does feel really bad but the reason that I'm talking about this is because in Ihara's video, they basically, you know, asked the question, they posed the question, like, what do we think about this? Like, should this player be refunded, right? Because if we're being honest, I think everyone will admit that this was obviously just a mistake, right? Any player in the end game who knows even a little bit about what they're doing would not consciously make an investment in Leonidas. They would not instantly mac Leonidas for no reason. Like it just doesn't make sense, right? So I think there is reason to believe that this player performed this action by accident. Okay. And that's especially the case because of the fact that these two commanders, they do have quite a few similarities in the pose that they're doing with the one arm up on the weapon, the same color palette very similar facial structure gold accents you can even see the forearms are covered in gold for both these commanders so look i know that these commanders don't look identical but if you were going to pick two legendaries in the game that looked as close as possible to one another without them looking identical like this is probably can a contender for like the most similar two legendaries look if we're being honest now i'm not saying they look the same but like at quick glance with blurry eyes at 8 30 in the morning like for sure i can see somebody possibly making this mistake so with those two facts being true should this player have gotten a refund on their sculptures now the vip support told the player that it actually was not possible for them to refund the sculptures that they put into leonidas by accident and this is simply not true i mean we already know that there is an event in game that allows players after 15 days of playing to reset a legendary commander if you guys didn't know this event came out i think at the end of 2022 and basically if you're in a brand new server it's my understanding that this event comes around for the first i think it's 15 days into a brand new server effectively what happens is you can choose one legendary commander and it will completely reset their skills their level and their talents and they will give you back all of the experience tombs that you have spent and all of the stars that you've used to upgrade that commander but furthermore they will give you back the universal legendary commander sculptures that you spent on that commander now what that means is for example if you got 20 legendary commander sculptures from el cid from gold keys and you spent 30 universal legendary commander sculptures on el cid and then you go ahead and you do the rebirth ceremony what would happen is they would give you back 20 El Cid sculptures because that's what you got from the gold keys and then they would give you back 30 universal sculptures that you spent on El Cid so this is a really cool event but it's basically completely useless because if you're 15 days into a server you're not even going to have most of the legendaries in the game and you know it's a good event if you're you know a new player who did make a small mistake on let's say frederick you put a bunch of sculptures into him because he's the first commander you got and then you watched an omni arc video and realized that he's actually not very good right so it does help for you know those small mistakes at the beginning of the game but it would be nice if we had something like this for season of conquest that would be super super helpful so my point is though that the fact that this event exists in the game means that rise of kingdoms has the ability and technology to actually reset a commander and it it shows that they know what you've actually spent on that commander right for example this is how many leonidas sculptures i have used without using any universals 
on this commander thank god i dodged that bullet that was really nice and this makes sense right and this is not exclusive to rise of kingdoms literally like every single live service multiplayer game keeps track of a player's you know a, items that they acquire when they acquired them the quantities that they acquired them they all keep track of this right like this is that's why for example if you play world of warcraft and your account gets hacked or compromised sometimes if you're lucky and you can prove that it was compromised sometimes the the gms and the customer support can get back items and gold that might have been you know auctioned off or sent to other players or whatever the case might be and furthermore if you actually manually delete your character and it's an accident or your little brother gets access to your computer and they delete it right you can usually reach out to support and have them return that character to your account because these live service games keep track of everything that players get so this is a no-brainer it is obvious that Lilith keeps track of the sculptures you spend on a commander and in fact they literally show you what you spend on a commander in your commander view as long as you invested in them after a certain date so for example my Liu Che you could see that I use 357 sculptures Universal and 333 from the Wheel of Fortune that's just what I happen to spend on this commander so we know that the devs keep track of this and we know that they have have already invested in the technology and an event that lets you reset them manually yourself and so we know that it would actually be possible for vip support to refund this player their sculptures and everything that they wasted accidentally putting it into leonidas so first of all we can kind of debunk the fact that it it, it is possible for them to do it the real question is should they do it that's the real question and that is probably what you've been thinking this entire time you've been waiting to see what do i think about this and truthfully ladies and gentlemen that whale made a mistake and it's their own fault and because of that they should suffer by having a leonidas expertise that is my opinion because look yes the commanders look similar and yes it was obviously an accident nobody would actually be expertising leonidas in 2024 until he gets some sort of relic maybe okay despite that the player did have to use their universals and they did have to type in their password and they did have to confirm and they did have to do all of that while looking at the face of Leonidas okay so in my opinion was this an obvious mistake yes could VIP support revert this for the player yes should VIP support revert this for the player no they should not they made a mistake it's an expensive mistake it really sucks that they made that mistake but at the end of the day this is the player's fault I mean they literally typed in their secondary password that's the whole purpose of the secondary password right like that is the reason that that is implemented okay so I don't think they should reverse the mistake that this player made even though that player is in the 0.0001 percent of players in the game he's obviously a super valuable player for them to keep happy but they shouldn't do this and it seems to be the case that they are not going to do this and they have shown no indication of changing their mind about this which i'm happy about but furthermore not only do i think that they shouldn't do this i think that they can't do it from a policy perspective right like technically yes they could do it but i just think that if you allow a player to reach out to vip support and have them reset a commander for you then that opens the floodgates that opens pandora's box for every other whale in the game to reach out to vip support and say hey i accidentally expertise the most when i meant to actually expertise Ramses, right if you allow this once then they're going to get a never ending stream of players reaching out to them saying hey i made a mistake i accidentally invested in genghis khan when i really wanted to get zhang Yu, right like it, it would just be an impossible influx of requests for resets for commanders i mean look at nebu with gilgamesh and with ashurbanipal i can easily see a player mistaking one of these for another and accidentally investing in the wrong commander especially when you're just looking at like the actual icons here like i mean they, they look very similar okay it, they they look different but they do kind of look similar and especially because they are all the same troop type they're all archer commanders right and they all have the skill tree as well which is hilarious so because of that i just think that vip support you know 
as much as this was a mistake as much as this does suck to be that player i just think that they can't they can't issue a refund for this they can't refund that player's heads because it will set such an insane precedent and also if the charles martel highest end of vip support was able to do this then players would see that as an advantage that you know heavy spending whales have right players would say oh well you know oh just why just because he has access to the highest level vip support they get special treatment they get to reset commanders and we can't right so at the end of the day i want to applaud the vip support for not caving to this player's demands okay they should not refund this player the sculptures it was the player's fault it does suck and I can see why it happened. I can see it. I can empathize. It sucks. And I could see the mistake that they could make if they're half awake at 8 30 in the morning and they accidentally expertise the wrong commander. It does suck. But really, they just can't set this precedent. They can't open Pandora's box and reset this one player's commander one time because then everyone's going to ask for it in perpetuity. But the real question is why don't we have an event like this for Season of Conquest? Lilith, li listen, please, once a year please give us an event give us the rebirth ceremony that we want that we deserve okay in the past players have have complained and, and and you know they've asked Lilith and the developers to give them a way to reset commanders in season of conquest and the, the reason for this is obvious right because if you're in season of conquest and oh I don't know let's say you have an expertise Leonidas from three years ago well he's basically useless now okay he's basically useless and if you dumped universals into him it would be really nice if you could use the rebirth ceremony to get those back because that commander is useless and sculptures are hard to come by and it would be nice for players to be able to get those investments back now in the past Lilith has looked at these requests and said if they implemented something like this in season of conquest it would be too game breaking it would basically ruin the balance and flow of commander investments because I mean let's face it whales have a ton of expertise legendaries and if they were able to reset one or some of those legendaries every year then that would further increase the gap between the whales and the free-to-play players on the other hand you know free-to-play players probably do have commanders that they regret investing in and it would be nice for them to get that refund once a year and they'd be able to get maybe the newer better meta i think that would be completely fine i personally and i think you guys know this but i personally would love a rebirth ceremony for season of conquest i think that it makes a lot of sense it would really help out the you know especially returning players right imagine you played the game up until the end of 2022 and then you quit and now you're coming back now and you have an expertise saladin right and you're like well i'm not going to use this you have an expertise constantine and you're like well I'm not going to use this you could you know as a returning player reset one of those commanders and then dump those sculptures into something newer and better and all of a sudden now you feel like you're not so far behind after all all of a sudden you feel like oh well you know if I come back to the game I, at least I have one competitive March and you'd be good to go right and again if this was only like once a year type of thing I think that would be really cool that would be a really nice way to incentivize old players to come back to the game and to feel good about that it would also incentivize free to play players you know to not feel so bad about an old investment that they made because they can you know if they're patient maybe if they continue to play the game for the next couple of months maybe during the anniversary event we get a rebirth event and then they can actually fix their mistake and feel really good about that and still be competitive in the game right even if they didn't give us a rebirth ceremony let let me propose to you a different idea okay now as you guys know I typically hate when games implement more currencies okay the more currencies in a game the less happy I am about that we have tons of currencies in this game we have four different standard resources we have gems which are a premium resource and then we have like the museum relic coins and 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 all those types of things and then there's crystal technology there's so many different currencies in the game but what if they introduced a currency in the expedition shop where once you expertise ethel fled it is replaced with rebirth shards okay and for 2500 coins you can get one rebirth shard and you can only get three rebirth shards per day and let's say that you need 700 rebirth shards to completely reset a commander or even if you wanted to make it higher let's say it's 1500 rebirth shards to reset a commander i think that would be really cool right because that kind of kills two birds with one stone it makes the metal store relevant again for players and it gives you a way to get something other than ethel fled from here it also means that they won't have to you know introduce a new commander here it would just be something a new currency type of thing 
and over time players would be able to accumulate those currencies and then perhaps once a year they could spend that currency to reset one commander I think that would be kind of cool I think it would be sort of balanced because then you'd have to at least earn it right you'd have to at least log in every day to earn that reset right it wouldn't just be something that's given to everybody you'd actually have to play through it and collect it every single day and I think that would be a nice little way to sort of help out the old players the free-to-play players the returning players it would give them some way to get value out of an old investment that they made or perhaps it would give this poor well a way to fix their massive mistake for their Leonidas without breaking the game and without having VIP support offer special treatment to that player. So that is what I want to pose to you guys. Do you think that VIP support did the right thing? Do you think that this player is, do you think this is their fault? Or do you think that it's Lilith's fault for making two commanders that look so similar? I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. And do you think that they should add a rebirth ceremony for season of conquest? Or do you think that my rebirth shard idea is a better more balanced implementation of resetting commanders once a year i would love to hear from you in the comment section below about all of those things and hopefully you guys found this story fun and entertaining and if you did of course make sure you subscribe to this channel we are so close to 70,000 subscribers it's actually insane thank you guys who have been subscribing lately it has been amazing to see how many of you are actually subscribing now while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it'll push this video out into the algorithm but also go down into the description and subscribe to ihara they are the youtuber that first covered this story and without them i wouldn't have been able to make this video so please show them some support as well i would really really appreciate that and i'm sure they would as well and with all that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been on the arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace